Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Get friend looks going to turn off. Talking that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have a Hat Club New Era exclusive. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, this is going to be a little something different from normal. This is not an unboxing. This is the differences between the Made in China versus Made in Bangladesh. These are both Hat Club exclusives that were um, originally released and restocked later on. Actually, this one's recently been restocked. Last time I looked, still had a full-size run. So if you're interested, go over to Hat Club and uh, scoop it up. But um, I don't remember which one was released first but one of them is made in Bangladesh one is made in China I'm just going to show you the differences how it fits um, on my head um, between the two different brands to help kind of show people more what I mean by you know just just the difference of, of them so we'll do this the best we can all right so first off we got the 1987 style Chicago White Sox logo all black with a um, C done a white outline in like a light gray. It's got the new era flat and black to blend in. Nothing on the back, nothing on the left side. Both gray UVs, both black sweatbands. But this one's made in China. And this is the Bangladesh. I bought these not knowing what country they're made in. It's before I started really having the big gripe about the Bangladesh made ones. I just wondered how come certain hats I would get just didn't fit right and I started doing my research then you'd hear other people complain in different hat forms I would look in and sure enough this is the Bangladesh ones that I had the issues with so we're going to do the China one first you're going to see that the China one will go down on my head nicely All right, now I'm going to do the Bangladesh one, and you're going to notice it will bottom out of my head too soon and won't go down as far as you see this one. All right, so that was the China one. This is the Bangladesh one. The Bangladesh one will not go down as far. It bottoms out because the dome is not as tall. As a, to the naked eye, you probably can't tell, but it is slightly um, more shallow, I guess is the word, or just not as tall. But exact same size hat. They just will not go down on my head as far. And I do not like the way these look. Let's do once again so you can see the differences once again. So, made in China. And once again, this is the made in Bangladesh. I just like the way the China one fits so much better. Don't get me wrong, I wish they were made in the USA still, but but the uh, the China one is always the way to go for me personally. Uh, I put out a Bangladesh video a while back. Most people sided with me on it. Some people um, sided, said that they prefer the Bangladesh, but you know everyone's head is you know shaped different too, so it may work better on some people um, than others. But I think the, in the large majority people prefer the China ones versus the Bangladesh ones. Then you have some people, they just don't care as long as the hat looks dope. They don't care how it fits. But me, if I'm going to be wearing it, I don't want it to look goofy. As you see, once again, how much better this one looks compared to how this one won't go down as far. So, so that's my personal opinion of China versus Bangladesh. Comment down below. Let me know what kind of experiences you have with the two brands. So, I try to avoid Bangladesh ones at all costs, but sometimes on certain situations you just can't. If you truly want the hat that bad, but I'll pass on them if it's an online purchase just because of the gamble of having to send it back if it doesn't fit right. If I'm in store and they do have a lot of sizes um let me rephrase that a lot of my size available i will go through the stack and find the one that fits the best but i try to avoid buying the bangladesh ones um at you know if all possible so i've been noticing a lot of 
their restock of older releases on Hat Club have been coming um, from China. So I've been rebuying some of the hats. Then I'll be getting rid of the Bangladesh made ones just because I'm not happy with how they fit. So comment down below. Let me know what your opinion is of China versus Bangladesh. Which one you prefer. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll do a close up just to show you the tag so you can see that one really is made in China, one is really made in Bangladesh. So you don't think I'm just making it up. But uh, go join our Facebook Fitted group, also called Fitted Fiend, New Era 5950 community. Uh, you can post your fitted of the day, buy, sell, trade, help assist other members in your area with fitted that they may not have access to. Uh, the link's in the description. Also go to fittedfiend.com to help you find easier. Please give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Trends and merch in the description. Until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace. Jeans.